What makes everything better? A little seasoning. While neutrals and off-whites are a pretty safe bet in most cases, a little bit of color never hurt nobody. On this episode of Color Code, we're going to deviate from Benjamin Moore and talk about a Sherwin-Williams color that takes gray in a very fun direction. Looking for a color on the cooler side of things? Have I got the color for you. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com, and this is Color Code, cracking the code on color selection. This is a segment of videos where we discuss paint colors in detail, their undertones, and how to best use them in your home or your customers. If there are any colors you want featured on Color Code, don't forget to comment below and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what else do I have to do to get you to click that button? So far in this series, we've discussed a variety of colors, but mostly on the neutral side of things, off-whites and grayishes. This is mainly because they tend to serve the most amount of people being neutral. That being said, there are other color options out there that can be just as complimentary, but maybe even more fun and creative. Today's color code is SW6204. I wanted to spice things up today with the Sherwin-Williams color, Sea Salt. This is a lighter gray that possesses a moody blue-green tone. According to Sherwin-Williams, it has an LRV of 63, which means it's on the lighter side of being a mid-tone. Not quite a mid-tone, but also a bit too dark to be classified as an off-white. Its soothing feel gives it a very airy feeling to it. When I see it used on walls, it tends to feel lighter than it actually is. But this does vary from room to room, largely based on the lighting conditions. Sea Salt is one of those push-pull paint colors, where the blue and green undertones are working harmoniously, while also taking the color in two different directions. On the neutral scale, Sea Salt is clearly more towards the cooler side of things, but it has enough green that it doesn't come across as a cold color. This is good news, because even though it's not as neutral as a grayish, it's neutral in its coolness. Because it's not a straight up blue, it has multiple personalities. It can look blue in one room, but then green in another, and then gray somewhere else. It all depends on your decor and your lighting. If you have a lot of surrounding cool tones in the room, they'll pull and accentuate the green undertone in sea salt. If your furniture is more on the warmer side, sea salt will appear quite a bit cooler. It ends up being a fun color to use because of its shape-shifting quality. Where are some of the best places to use sea salt? Good question, if I do say so myself. The dichotomy of being neutral and cool means it could theoretically be used as a main color throughout a whole house, as long as your decor suits it. If I'm being specific, however, hands down, my favorite place to use sea salt is in a bathroom. Not only does it have enough of a contrast to work well with any white fixtures or tiles, the blue-green tinge to sea salt can either give the space a spa-like feel or a homey seaside coastal feel, depending on how you decorate it. What colors should you pair it with? I find that sea salt works wonders with light grays that pull towards the warm side of things because it allows the beautiful blue undertone to stand out even more. OC26 Silver Satin is a great example of this. On its own, it looks quite gray, but it just has that touch of brown which complements sea salt perfectly. If you're looking for darker alternatives to sea salt, you can simply grab SW6206 or 6207 in Oyster Bay and Retreat. They both have the same undertones of sea salt, but just with a lot more depth added. Either would be a great choice for an accent wall with sea salt everywhere else, or you could use them in an adjacent family room for a more dramatic look. Whatever you decide, just be aware that this isn't going to be the safest color choice, but if it works, the payoff is huge. The number of colors out there is virtually endless, and that's why it's always a good idea to stay open-minded when it comes to color selection. You don't need to stick to the colors provided by your favorite paint company. The Benjamin Moore store I go to uses crossover formulas to quickly tint Sherwin-Williams colors like sea salt into Benjamin Moore paint products. If you want to know more about that process, you can check out our video on it right here. Just some handy dandy information that can help make this complicated world of painting a little bit easier. Subscribe if you haven't, click the like button if you like this video, and that's it for this one. See you on the next one.